Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the campus pastors at Icon Church in Derby. Hope you're having a great week so far and ready for the weekend ahead. I'm really excited about sharing this morning's devotion with you and I'm praying that God uses me to speak to you this morning in a new way. I've titled this devotion, Time to Press Pause. You know, being in lockdown has definitely had its benefits. One thing I've really enjoyed is having extra time to do more things. For me, that's been cooking and learning new recipes. But for you, you might have learned something new during this time, or you might have done more exercise. Whatever it is, it's definitely been great to have the extra time. But during this time, there's definitely the temptation, now more than ever, to just sit on the sofa and watch Netflix or any other streaming service out there. I'm sure, like me, you're guilty of binge-watching films and TV shows during lockdown. I love a good Disney film, so Disney Plus definitely came at the right time for me. But it's true that the, in the world, screen time is on the rise. I read recently that Netflix have had 18 million new subscribers during lockdown. That's just insane, but it's probably not as surprising as we think it is. More people are looking at the TV or on their phones during this time. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I love these services and I think they're great. And social media is a great way of staying in touch with friends and family. But I know that I have to be careful to not let it take over my life. So I've been challenged during this time to press pause on the screen so that I can focus on the most important things. I want to share a story with you that relates to this thought that really spoke to me. And it's in Matthew chapter 9, verse 18 to 22. And it's talking about Jesus. It says, while he was saying this, a ruler came and knelt before him and said, my daughter has just died, but come and put your hand on her and she will live. Jesus got up and went with him. So did his disciples. Just then a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed from that moment. You know, I love this story. And I think one of the most amazing things about this story is the fact that Jesus stops and turns around to acknowledge this woman. You know, Jesus was on his way to heal a young girl in the story. He had a mission. And in Luke's gospel, it describes that the crowds were almost crushing Jesus in this moment. There were so many people around him, so many things happening. Yet in all of this distraction, Jesus had the time for this woman. He had the time um, to care for this woman who was in need. You know, he could have argued that what he was doing was more important or he didn't want to disappoint the crowds around him. But he always followed his father's heart. And time and time again, when you read stories about Jesus, you'll see that he was always following his father's heart. He was always listening, listening to what his, uh, his father was telling him. In our lives, it can feel like we are surrounded by distractions on social media, on TV, in the news. And you know, the enemy uses these distractions to take our focus off of what's, in, what's most important. And what's most important to us, it's loving God and loving people. It's spending time with God and caring for those in need like Jesus. But we can press pause on those distractions. And I wanna encourage you today that we can press pause on those distractions and focus our, our attention on the things that matter most. We can press pause on Netflix and read God's word. We can press pause on Facebook and call a friend or family member. We can press pause on the distractions and focus on the Father. So I wanna ask you this question this morning. Is it time to press pause? Today, when you're doing your work or when you're doing uh, whatever it is that you're doing, is it time to press pause on those things so that you can focus on the Father? I believe that God will use us for even greater things if we take the time to listen to what he is saying and like Jesus, follow the Father's heart. So Father God, I thank you 
for today, Lord Jesus. I thank you, God, that you are speaking to us through these words. I pray today, God, that you would help us to press pause on the things that distract us so that we can focus on the things that are most important, so that we can focus on you, focus on your voice, focus on where you're leading us, Jesus. I thank you that you've got great plans for each one of us, and I pray that you would use us for even greater. In Jesus' name, amen.